gosh, how scary is that? Yeah, and we just had that one on the turnpike, as you mentioned, you know, the turnpike different than ODOT, but right. it, those, those plows are big and they move a lot of mm -hmm. snow and man, when they are going fast, it just flies. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Obviously those drivers couldn't do anything there. There was right. stuff going on, but just in general, you gotta be careful out and there. Be wary of where they are and yeah. you know, if you can stay out of the way, definitely stay out of the way. Tonight, it's more of an icing issue. We have that sun today that helps to melt the snow right. that's around. All that water now, it's gonna be freezing tonight as we have these very cold temperatures in place. It is gonna be really darn cold tomorrow morning. Mm. says so right there on the graphic. So. Now you know it's going to be really darn cold, mostly <laughs> sunny otherwise. Temperatures in the single digits and below zero. Wind chills well below that. Scattered snow around in the evening, but temperatures make a beautiful rebound back into the upper 20s. Not above freezing yet, but definitely a pretty uh, fur poke from where we're going to start the day. Nine below still in Worcester, one below now in tropical Dover, seven above Youngstown, five at the Cuyahoga County Airport. Uh, temperatures are going to be varied across the area. The breezes will drop the wind chills, but the breezes also help to elevate the temperatures just a little bit. We get our coldest temperatures when the winds go dead calm, and that's when we really have no wind chill effect. So there's like this weird triangular relationship that's going on between wind and temperature and wind chill. Uh, but all of that, you can still see that we've got a light breeze out there. And when it's this cold, even light breeze makes it feel even colder. So wind chill advisories in play. We all we have already had wind chills 10 to 15 below zero, and that's really going to stay with us tonight through 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. That's where this wind chill lies. Now uh, we could see that trimmed back early tomorrow. A lot of that is dependent upon how quickly things start to warm up and we, we will be warming up. We have a frontal boundary that's coming our way now. Typically fronts will mean bad things for us this time of the year. Oh, here we go. We probably will get some snow out of it, but the front is also helping to pull a southerly wind in. As the southerly wind comes in, that will start to bring in the warmer air that is sitting out to the southwest of us, too. The cold air right now, the core of the cold air is east of us, so we're on the backside of all of that. This is really the last night we have to deal with it. And then you look farther down here into portions of Oklahoma, Texas. This is the very beginning of what will become a beast of an East Coast storm system. And, you know, timing, location, track is everything. Right now, it's going to take its sweet old time on diving down through the deep south. And then once it hits the East Coast, it's going to rip to the northeast. So here comes our front with a few snow showers later in the day tomorrow. We'll have another reinforcing shot of cold air. Now, remember, we've got that low that's coming in here and sitting over the Gulf Stream just off of the Carolina coast. Watch how this this baby comes together, meets up with that cold air. We get cold, we get warm, everything's starting to work, and we're going to have a storm system that really becomes very powerful. As of tonight, looking a little further east, that's great news for the East Coast, but it's still expected to be a pretty high impact storm, especially for New England. We will be on the cold side of it the whole time. And in that National Design Hour by Hour forecast, that really comes into play probably more toward the weekend. For tonight, though, it's all about the wind. The slight wind will mean the wind chills will be below zero. Our air temperatures will come up quickly. We're going to start single digits pre-dawn, and then by midday and into the afternoon, make a beautiful rebound back into the mid and upper 20s. That is just about the time we're going to start to see those snow showers coming down. Union Home Mortgage forecast. The scattered snow continues into Friday. Look at Saturday only at 15 for the high, but at least we get to see some sunshine. I know not too much of a payoff there. Uh, after a cold start on Sunday, then we'll begin a rebound once more. Temperatures getting back into the 40s. We're going to go for a stretch above freezing. That means the melt is on and with rain coming in, we could be looking at some flooding concerns by the time we get into the middle of next week. We're going to keep an eye on that one for you. Meanwhile, Jimmy's keeping an eye on sports. He's up next.